Display 2.3 is the latest iteration of Martin Audio's Array Optimization software. This tool allows the user to generate array presets specific to a venue or application that can either be loaded into icon amplifiers for use with wavefront precision systems or directly into MLA series arrays. O-Line array optimizations can also be uploaded to a DX 4.0 processor. The display file can include as many array configurations as you require for a specific application, whether that is for example delay and fill positions at a festival site, or different coverage goals for a single array that can be loaded as multiple snapshots. Display uses an extremely accurate computer model of the array to predict system performance and automatically optimize first the physical articulation of the array and then the DSP parameters required to suit the coverage goals defined by the user. Before the array can be added to our virtual venue, Display asks the user to define some parameters of the array, such as the array type, chosen from all optimizable systems, deployment method, whether the array will be flown or ground stacked. Some arrays have the option to pole mount and some can be deployed in conjunction with subwoofers. Select the number of cabinets in the array and finally you give the array a suitable name. The dashboard now displays a series of steps to follow in order to define the array preset. Clicking on the six buttons within the dashboard opens their respective workspaces, but these need to be run in a logical workflow left to right. Display will prevent you from opening a workspace if the preceding tab hasn't been completed. First, a 2D slice of the venue is created the predefined array added, and basic audience coverage is drawn. To begin, either define the approximate maximum geometry of the venue that will be drawn, or locate a previously created venue to import the slice. To import a slice, first click Load and navigate to the file from which you wish to import the slice. As a project file may include a number of arrays, each with their own slice drawing, use the drop down to select which one you would like to use and click Import. The slice is a side view of the venue, usually on axis to the array. Click on the New Shell button to start. It must be drawn anti clockwise. The default starting point is at the back of the stage and regions are defined by clicking to place vertices throughout the venue. Additional points can be added or removed at any time if necessary by selecting the appropriate button. Green for Add, Red for Subtract. The blue button allows the user to manually move a point by selecting it and dragging it around the shell to a new position. Once drawn, the workspace automatically zooms to best fit for the shell. If you need to enlarge the shell upwards or make it deeper, you can extend the drawing boundary upwards or to the right. Once you have finished any modifications required, you can click to zoom into the best fit for the shell. The shell can be drawn roughly to speed up the process. Precise definition of the vertices can be refined using the points table top left. The tab key is used to quickly cycle through the coordinates for each point.
By default, the drawing has equal scales for the horizontal and vertical axes, but this can be turned off which may be useful if you have a venue requiring very long coverage but very little height, or a very tall venue with a short depth. All vertices are numbered, but you can switch off the numbers within the drawing which may make the shell a little clearer if you have drawn a highly complex venue. The venue can also be defined by using a polar coordinate system called Survey Mode. This mode allows you to build the venue geometry by using a distance and angle measurement entered from a reference point. In the system diagram, the yellow diamond is shown as the reference and can be vertically offset from the vertex it is snapped to if required, if your measurement device is mounted on a stand for example. You can click on any position around the slice to serve as the reference position. The points table switches from XY coordinates to distance and angle. Survey mode will be used if venue drawings are unavailable and is useful in venues with multiple balconies where the height relative to the ground plane is hard to ascertain. Inputting the distance and angle displayed from a good quality laser measure is a quick and accurate way to define the venue geometry. Now that the slice has been refined, the selected array can be added. Once again the placement can be approximate, then adjusted in the Array Position dialog boxes. The Array Position figures show the precise position of the cross symbol on the array in the slice diagram and corresponds to the front of the top cabinet in the array. Array Position can also be adjusted later in the Splay tab if required. The audience region can now be defined within the shell. The Slice tab allows the user to draw a single audience region. It is further refined in the Coverage tab, dividing it into individual audience regions such as stalls and balconies for example. Just like drawing the shell, the audience must be drawn in an anti-clockwise direction from the start of the audience right through to the final audience position. As Display optimises the array for the audience coverage and accounts for audience offsets, there is no need to overshoot the audience at the back of the venue as was commonly required with conventional line array systems. Audience start and finished positions can be adjusted again by utilising the coloured buttons and dragging the cursor to the appropriate location. Equally, the entire area can be removed and redrawn. Once this is complete, either click Done and move on to the Coverage tab, or use the Express Setup option.